Hi, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop and in this video we're going to have a look at MJ Cullinane's The Guardian of the Night Tarot. Now this deck is just going to be released, released by Hay House on the Tuesday the 5th of July. Um, it is a, a deck that was originally or found its way into the marketplace as a self-published deck by MJ Cullinane. She's actually the um, producer of or the creator behind the Crow Tarot. Um, it's a gorgeous deck, it's obviously full of animals or creatures and it came or it was born out of the time that we've all just been through the pandemic which as we know all of us found particularly trying. Um, I believe it's quite philosophical actually so it's a really good um, dive into the darkness and how we can basically find the light through it and these creatures help us do it so it's quite, uh, it's quite something else. So without darkness there is no light from the creative crow tarot this richly illustrated 78 card tarot deck and guidebook are reminders that there is always light to be found even on the darkest of nights discover a vast menagerie of animal energy to guide you on your journey through the toughest times and discover wisdom and insight in those moments this tarot deck is not a tool to banish the darkness but an invitation to dream the divine dreams that emerge from the night and to find beauty wherever you are on your path the wise creatures of this deck walk beside you and offer their individual gifts of wisdom and inspiration to your readings as the shining moon and flickering fireflies illuminate your path through the forest. So this is the box. As I say, Hay House have just picked it up and it's just being released on the 7th of July. Oh, 5th of July, sorry. Okay, so there's a little guidebook and within the guidebook she goes dives straight into what um, inspired her and how to use the deck so she goes straight into how to use the deck yes and no answers she does actually suggest as well you can use it for an oracle card deck if you want to as opposed to a tarot so it's quite good because it's versatile you can use it for either or there's a description between be behind each of the the cards so that's the deck and there's um mj color name margot jones okay so that's that let's have a look at the cards this is the back they've got um i want to say bees they are honeybees aren't they she says fireflies and so mj cullinane comes for those of us that live in the uk she comes from seattle so obviously there are slight slightly different um creatures there than there are over here for us okay so let's go through one at a time the form i'm going to put a link um that takes you straight to um, just in the description below straight to her explanations a video that she created when she did the self-published deck to explain her motivation and her inspiration behind each of the cards I know for example that this one was because the wolf had chased the rabbit and had the faith and the hope and the trust that actually despite the fact that this looked like a foolish thing to do he was very confident that he would get there in the end and that he would get to the other side of the lake so that's the energy of the four so they're very energetic cards as well the magician is a raccoon a gorgeous bat for the high priestess i believe that the difference between these and her deck her original deck are the borders one of them is a thickness of card and the borders the illustrations are exactly the same the emperor The Hierophant, I'm just going to move over because this is quite. The Lovers, it's interesting that she chose the Scorpions, isn't it? But I think she says something about how during the pandemic she watched a, a discovery program because she was determined that the children were going to watch um, educational programs during the day rather than obviously the, the junk on the television. And there was a documentary that came on about scorpions and it just struck her that actually that was the energy of the lovers because they they mate um in life for life and she does a particularly dance um, intriguing dance so that was why she chose them and they're all creatures of the night aren't they we really don't see very much of them but they have survived for a very long time um strength now this is interesting as well because the mouse is basically charming the snake and the snake is charming the mouse so the two of them don't actually overpower one another the hermit is a spider obviously they're solitary creatures aren't they the wheel of fortune 
for justice. I'm struggling here slightly. Let me do this. That's better. That's an opossum. I've not seen an opossum. I don't even know if I've said that correctly, actually. But as I said, because she lives in that area, then of course we don't know some of those creatures in the UK. Now this is interesting because these are rat size and they're meant to be trapped by the fact that their fear is keeping them behind the the thorns and actually it's growing and growing because they're, they're not coming out so it's about fear which is actually a very good representation of death the death card sorry temperance we've got to have patience one foot in one foot land one foot on the in the water i don't know what this is it's a um a jack jack rabbit or something i've not heard of one before the tower star this reminds me of um, the Harry Potter movies when his um, creature of um, guiding creature was a stag. The moon, <laughs> the sun, judgment. That's interesting, isn't it? Because so we know that the judgment um, is about. Um, getting your calling to fulfill your true purpose in life so moving you on from a position of death if you like really and actually living your life to its fullest well the snake has just shed his skin and he's being called the world gorgeous now that's a b and then we move into the one so you've got the ace two three oops So six is, ones are all about activity, aren't they? Movement. You're standing up for yourself. I really do suggest that you take a link, um, uh, click on the link from in the description so you can see, as I say, her creative inspiration behind all of these images and these creatures that she's used because it's always really lovely to hear the artist's own rationale we move into cups so we've got ace that's gorgeous this and, and um i did hear her say actually that she's used the feathers so these are divine this as you know the ace is a divine intervention on the beginning something because it's um it's divinely guided two of cups mate for life actually this is um the coming together of two people or a partnership. Hmm. Oops, sorry, wrong way around. Well done, Maria. Three of cups. Four. Not the elephants in the cups. Oh, beautiful tiger. The peacocks are my absolute favour favorite nine of cups ten to a happy ever after page knight oh, gorgeous swan queen got a killer whale orca you called them isn't it and king moving on to the swords which are always quite difficult let's see how she's handled these so that's a new beginning a new thought choice to make and it is oh it's on a blade. Two, three, so we've got uh, heartache. Four, leave me alone. Don't wake me up, I'm not ready. Five is loss. In the six of swords, in the Rider Waite, there's a figure in a boat going across and some, they've got, somebody's guiding her across because she's absolutely finished. So this is perseverance. And they go on very long journeys, don't they, turtles? But they persevere and they get there. Seven. Black Panther. Eight. Nine, ten. Oh, 
page and the knight and queen and king that's interesting she to chose two um, owls for the queen and the king then we have the pentacles so we have an owl dolphins So this is the apprenticeship card. Hmm. Four, we're hiding our money. Sit five. Six. Sorry, OCD kicking in. Six. Got a water buffalo. That gorgeous spider again. Eight. Nine. Ten. And we've got the oh an octopus for pentacles eight page of pentacles knight queen and king lovely so those are the guardian of the night tarot available in store now actually because they're released on tuesday the 5th of july and they were quite strict about the date that it was released You've been able to pre-order up to now but now they are actually available to buy so there we go and as mentioned i have mentioned a couple of times i will put a link in the video that actually takes you straight through to mj cullenane herself as she walks you through her actual self-published deck exactly the same as this um, much thinner stock and slightly different borders but you get to hear same creatures so you get to hear her creative inspiration behind the creatures in each of the cards so that's it thank you very much for your time mm -hmm.